Why hello everybody, how are we? My name is Unicorn Ponzu. welcome back to another video. And Chantal uploaded another video, which is going to be a shopping day, which honestly, like, it's better than nothing. I'm actually really excited because, like, anything that's not just sitting down and eating and talking, like, fair, fine, like, deal. <laughs> so with that being said, let's see what Chantal has to say slash buy today, shall we? Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> Well, hello guys, welcome back to another Canada vlog. So today I am going with some family members to have a wonderful day. We're gonna go on a little road trip. We're gonna have lunch. We're gonna go to a park. We're gonna go shopping. I have some lush gift cards that I need to spend. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to be doing all of those things today. Which I've never been a lush girly, primarily because there's none like near me per se, but I mean, there might be one or two, but like I've always been a Bath and Body Works girl. Like the amount of money that I spent at the last like semi annual sale should probably be uh, concerning to somebody, but like I'm thoroughly enjoying them. <laughs> it's a beautiful day out, and I'm inviting you all. But my normal go to now is um, I think called Ballet Nights. Absolutely amazing. Highly recommend all along with us. So Yella, come on, let's go. Okay, so how much of this is actually, okay, so there's a lot. Oh, oh, we actually got the places, yay. First up is to St. Albert Dairy Farm to get some fresh cheese curds, fresh from their farm that they make daily. Wow, a two kg bag of cheese curds. Oh my gosh, that would put me in a cheese coma. But, uh, and what's really sad is that she's kind of not joking when she says that because like, you know, during Thanksgiving or something to where you eat a lot of food and you kind of joke around me like, oh, yeah, I ate so much. I'm uh, going to hibernation where it's kind of like that, but like it's serious, which is kind of sad. But eh. uh, as much as I'd love to, I'm going to get the smallest bag they have. So, yeah, I'm just going to get a little bag of cheese curds. Hey guys, so I'm here in Canada just doing a vlog today. I'm doing a bit of shopping. I'm gonna go to Lush. Right now we're at Giant Tiger and we're gonna have lunch after. So Yella, come with us. Just gonna go see if they have anything of interest, maybe. I don't know, just have a look around. Summer's coming, so cool items are important. I used to love wearing pops as a kid. Which I, I still do, but like, I've never heard of Giant Tiger. Does anybody know what like the um, American equivalent to Giant Tiger is? Anybody, let me know. These are the cheesies. Hawkins. Canadian. My wallet for today. I might get some socks. You can always use some socks. What? Chocolate socks? Okay, those honestly are really cute, but like also, um, the, the only thing that I'm hearing is just <laughs> like in between her sentences, girly, come on. Why can't cows wear shoes? Because they lack toes. Oh my gosh. Good boss. <laughs> yeah, that's actually really funny. Okay. Ooh, these are cute. I gotta find- Okay, Amberlynn, calm down. A way to get earrings around my hitch up. <laughs> Excuse me, do you know where the pickles are? And this is my casual outfit for today. <sighs> Big head alert. They have a plus size that goes up to 3X, meaning probably not too much will fit me here. This shirt for summer looks nice and light. I really like the style of this. Giant Tiger, like I said, it's pretty much like a Canadian Walmart. As you can see, they have things for pretty cheap. So it Okay, I can see it though. It's not Walmart Supercenter, which is what I'm used to, but like a normal, smaller Walmart. Okay, gotcha. Actually even cheaper than Walmart, I've noticed. They had some really, really good deals actually. $1.50 for a bag of these Epsom salts is a pretty good deal. So I'm just gonna get a couple of bags for taking baths back home, which I do enjoy doing. I'm gonna get one eucalyptus. Can you bring those on the plane? I don't know. This and one vanilla and probably just mix the two together. Oh my gosh. I literally cannot even smell Hawaiian ginger without being traumatized from my teenage years. You guys remember this stuff? I want the prize. Got some sauces here. Olive Garden Ranch. 
P.F. Chang's Sesame Teriyaki Sauce. Buffalo Wild Wings, Arby's. I spotted rice cakes. These are my favorite to snack on. I love the dill and I also- Which I've never tried those kind, but like the bigger kind is what I'm used to. And I quite literally just had one before I started watching this. So that's a little bit creepy. Um, it was caramel if anyone wanted to know. I love the all dressed. So the only solution is get a bag of each. I found these gourmet popcorn flavors. Very interesting. Would you guys try these? I love this dill pickle powder, but I'm not gonna get it today. So they had like a bargain sale section and I always check it out. They had some tea on sale for less than two bucks. And I think this milk thistle is good for you, isn't it? No idea, but like also when does Chantal ever drink tea? And also girly, I love me a good deal. I don't blame her. I love getting stuff that's like really cheap or maybe out of season for a lot, you know, a lot more affordable than what it would be in normal price. Girly, live your best Then life. they had these like bargain bin can of peanuts and ketchup and dill pickle are my favorite. So I hope they're not stale. Who even eats these giant hosts? I don't get it. Like, they sell Cineplex movie theater nacho cheese now individually. Interesting. It's shake and bake, and it helps. Yeah, I am a sucker for shake and bake. Yeah. My favorite candy in the world? These sour soothers since I'm a kid. But I'm not going to get them today either. You know you're at a bargain store when there's a huge bin of stovetop on sale. Vegetable thins are some of my favorite crackers as well. They're really good. I prefer um, chicken and a biscuit. God, I can eat. Well, I, I have ate those entire box worth of those. <laughs> they're so good. and They're so addicting. I can't help it. Okay, leave me alone. You're bullying me. I know a pretty princess who would love to sleep in this cute. Ah, uh, nah, I'm good. Thanks. Basket. <laughs> and here's their like home section where you can get all kinds of cute little things for your home, like bathroom goods, soap holders, towels, and some really cute dessert candles. These are so cute. A bit of nostalgia in the game section. Oh my gosh, they still sell Operation. That's like the ultimate jump scare when you're trying to get that little bone out. Which bone was it? I can't remember. Anyway, there's a hard bone to get out. And that buzzer would scare me. And just a warning to all your haters, if you don't leave me alone, you're gonna get super soaked. Well, it's definitely a lot more wet than you've been getting <laughs> for a year and a half now. <laughs> oh yes, buddy. Oh yes. This mug Honestly, it's been kind of hot out, so you, you would be doing me a favor. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Oh gosh darn it. All I have to do is just, I guess, walk away. It's not like Chantal can really, <laughs> it's not like Chantal can really follow me for that long at least. I'm sorry, I had to be the one to make that joke. I'm so sorry, but- Because la vie est belle. Bien sûr, la vie est belle. I don't speak French. Is that a Toys R Us? Excuse me, moi. I mean, I know that much French, but like, anyways, is that a Toys R Us? Oh my God, it's a Toys R Us and the Babies R Us. I honestly am so jealous of that because I miss dearly to my heart, not my local Toys R Us because we didn't have one locally, but like the one that I used to go to when I was little. Oh my God, if I would give anything to be able to bring back that store. Oh, I miss, I miss it so much. All right, found a parking spot. Now we are at the shopping mall and it's time to get down to business. I am seriously gonna do some damage at Lush. I cannot wait. First, we stopped into this really cool local store called Ottawa Loves Local, and they just had like a whole bunch of different really cool craft items like um, earrings, candles, bracelets, you know, stuff like that, homemade tumblers, different kinds of homemade treats from local vendors. Look at these cute cups and candles. 
Now I have way too many cups already and I also have my Stanley cups, so I'm good personally, but like these are actually really cute. I also love these like skull candles, especially the, like this one over here that has the, uh, actually I can do this. This one over here that has like the horns on it is so cute. Yeah, they were like just the cutest. And these like chili flavored gummy candies, I didn't get any, but I really would be interesting to know what spicy candy tastes like. And these cute dragons and like little emoji things and keychains and this weird cup holder. Yeah, I bet you would, Ryan Reynolds. I bet you would like that drink on your face, wouldn't you? <laughs> And I want these earrings so bad. I didn't get them, but aren't they so pretty? Like, I love them. Anyway, they have all kinds they of homemade really tumblers and mugs, including these really cool, like, horoscope mugs. I don't think there's anything in there. But yeah. Hi! <laughs> all right, and here we are, Lush. Like I said, I have some gift cards for my birthday to spend here, and I cannot wait. All right, so I'm definitely getting a huge bottle of this Oud Hess, if I'm saying that right, shower gel. It smells delicious and amazing. This Posh Chocolate Body Wash, which smells like chocolate and smells amazing. I'm also gonna get some Yummy Custard Body Wash. It smells sweet and delicious. I hate to make the joke, but like also, of course, two of the three of the things that she's just picked out so far is food related. I'm so sorry that I had to point that out. Anyways. And some Posh White Chocolate and Rose. Oh, I'm sorry, make that four. <laughs> I wanted to try some of the perfumes I've never smelled before. So I saw that they had a perfume card here and I decided to smell one called Alina and it actually smells really, really good. I have to research the story behind it. I definitely have to pick up a couple of massage bars. I know my husband will love these. So I'm gonna get an after, which has magnesium. I know my husband will love these. Girlie is just laying it on thicker than the, the <laughs> body wash that she just bought. Come on. And I'm going to get a therapy massage bar. Girlie, when we say that you need therapy, we're not talking about wash. I'm also out of my face moisturizer, so I'm going to pick up my favorite, which is... Sorry for pausing again, but like that's with, um, that's with moisturizer. Her poor skin. Oh Shangri-La. I love their soaps as well, so I decided to get a couple of those. I actually ended up getting um, a goddess soap. Now, I've never been inside of a Lush or anything before, but like, is that $10 for one bar of soap? Which, I mean, probably would last you quite a while, but like, I don't know what I was expecting from Lush, but like, um... <laughs> I might be trying maybe one or two things and like that might be it because oh lordy those prices and a that's also in canadian dollars completely forgot about that a strawberry heart soap and i also got a piece of uh sultan of soap which is a classic and it's one of their best so yeah the goddess also i was so surprised how nice it smells Now, I don't know if you've ever had Colonel's popcorn, but it's so good. So I decided to pick up a small, cheesy dill flavor. It's one of my favorite flavors. Pretty much anything cheese and dill is a win. So after the mall, we were pretty hungry and we decided to stop at the Green Door. It is probably the best, arguably, vegetarian restaurant in Ottawa and we love it. So we haven't been there in a while, but boy, let me tell you, Everything was so expensive, more than I remembered. So yeah, just be wary. You pay by weight. Um, and it's hard to really know how much everything is gonna cost until they weigh it. So I'm picking up some marinated mushrooms. This is like the cold salad bar. They were out of a lot of things because we came after the lunch rush, but that's broccoli salad, some marinated spring greens or spring mix. I am having some of their spicy kimchi. It's very delicious. They make everything in house every day for and here's the hot bar. We have vegetarian lasagna, tofu, quiche, rice, spicy peanut tempeh. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I would completely devour that, like that whole entire buffet because that looks delicious. Mashed potatoes with cheese and kale. And this is what my plate ended up being piled on with. And that's a spanakopita. 
pasta, this triangle thing here. It has spinach and feta cheese and dill. And this actually is a $40, $40 plate. Uh, whenever she rang it up and told me the price. Okay, you know what? I might be um, kind of dainty with my plates. How about that? Price, I was in shock. But I did get quite a bit of food. But man, that was pricey. Overall, the ambiance at this place is just really cool. And again, they make everything fresh and organic. So it is worth the price in the end. I mean, organic is just like a really big marketing term that people like to use because there's no like legal definition of organic. So people like to plaster it on quite literally everything that they can and market to you as like healthy alternatives or like better for you when it's quite literally the same exact stuff that everywhere else sells. So, I don't know about that, but like, I, I see what they mean though, I guess. It's such a beautiful day out. Anyways guys, I hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. I gotta walk down this little scary alleyway to get to the car. <laughs> She said, oh, hold on. Before we continue, guys, I got to get some B footage. <laughs> I got to get some B roll footage of that way, just in case if it's not eight minutes long, I need to make sure that I hit those eight minutes. So like, let me record this just in case that I don't hit that quota. And here we are walking down an alleyway, which I guess is content, but like very weird content, but like I'm kind of here for it, not gonna lie. The rest of the people I'm with today, uh, they're looking in like a bookstore and honestly, um, I'm just not interested, so I'm going to the car to get water. <laughs> Alright guys, while well, I have a few moments alone and I'm waiting for people to come back to the car, I'm just going to end the video here. So I just wanted you to come shopping with me. I know you guys like shopping vlogs sometimes here and there. So yeah, this is just um, an example. Yeah, of honestly, kind of I'm really down for this girly. Do more of these videos. Going out, seeing stuff, doing things, eating at different places. Like I, I honestly, this is probably the best video that she's made in a while. I'm not afraid to say that because it's the truth. Yeah, like props were props are due, even though the props are like the bare minimum at, at this point. But like, you know what? I'll take it. <laughs> On a day out, we usually do shopping and lunch or something like that. And uh, we're actually just gonna go to park probably. So um, I might get a few snippets of that, but I'm gonna end the video here. So, and the weather was beautiful. Like it was just amazing weather today. So very nice day. Thank you for coming along and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Alrighty, so there we go. Yeah, again, like I said, I actually enjoyed this video. It's just like, oh wow, we're doing stuff, we're going places, okay. And editing was actually really nice. Might have to do some post editing and with like the audio and stuff, but like that's just Chantal, I'm not really um, expecting her to, you know, do anything past the bare minimum at this point. But with that being said though, thank you guys so much for watching and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one, bye.